This experiment is the steel wool and vinegar reaction. And what you're going to need for this is some fine grade steel wool. You're going to need two containers. You could use beakers, glasses, anything. You're going to want some white vinegar and cling wrap. So step one is to put some steel wool into one glass. Let it sit there. And then pour some vinegar onto the steel wool and let it soak. Pour some onto it and let it soak. and you're gonna let it soak for a couple of minutes. So once it's been soaked for about two to three minutes, you're gonna want to take it out and squeeze out some ex the excess vinegar. And then you're going to transfer it into the next glass and put the cling wrap over it. And you're going to let it sit like this for about five to seven minutes. So after a couple of minutes, it's been five minutes for me. Uh, you're gonna take off the cling wrap and you're going to dump out the steel wool and you're gonna see that it's noticeably more brown than it was before. Pulling up to white so you can see it's browner. And here's the other steel wool, a clean piece of steel wool that was not dumped in the vinegar. And you'll see that it's noticeably more brown. And why this happens is that once you put the steel wool and soak it in vinegar for a bit, it, the vinegar removes the protective layer from the steel and lets the iron inside the steel come out and start to rust. Where steel usually would not rust, once you add the vinegar and the protective coating is taken out, then the, then the iron is what's left and it's allowed to uh, rust. And other notes are that when you're, when you're taking it out of the vinegar and you're, you're squeezing it so that all the vinegar comes out, it's going to get hotter and hotter. So that's why, and that's also the reason that you see the fog in this glass. It gets hotter, so be careful with that. You might want to wear gloves or something. It's not so hot, but it's noticeable. And yeah, it's a pretty cool experiment.